Today is a hot day here in Greece and this video is none other than a hot topic on its own for Great League Remix. So we're gonna dive together into this amazing format of Great League with Sado Golbat upon the lead at the back Dugnum with the Scavalier. This team has a lot of coverage for those Tox Apexes, this team has a lot of coverage for those Clefables, so that's why I'm recommending it to you and I think that in total it has a lot of coverage overall. So right here Dugong is gonna serve as our safe switch and I think that can do that uh, job pretty nicely here. Able to finish off the Pidgeot even though we are debuffed, still gonna deliver the back-to-back -back Icy Winds which can come in pretty clutch against the Squaxer because not only we can pressure a lot even though we are debuffed but also now we can tank easily a whole Stone Edge and if you ask me this is pretty solid. At the back they have a Charizard and even though we are debuffed they are Shadow so they might be kind of obliged in using at least a Shield here. They can farm down but right after we can go in we our Golbat and I can pretty much expect a Dragon Claw at this point so I know that I can take it. Uh, so Poison Fang here gonna grab the first shield and we are already there for the next one but of course first we need to respect the damage from the next Dragon Claw. I'm not sure if I can survive so down goes now this Poison Fang. We are both shieldless at this point and they have to reach to this Stone Edge if they want to have any chance at all. However I just revealed here my Escavalier and down goes my opponent to those counters. So this is a pretty solid video of terror overall so stay tuned till the end if you want to the full capabilities of this team. Able to get a pretty solid switch in here against the Steelix and Psyching Fangs will not deal enough damage but still over time in combination with those Dragon Tails which are resisted by the way they can still do a lot of solid work. Doesn't matter, down they go in the process and now Gudra returns into the battle. As it seems this team is kind of weak to my Scavalier but of course we're kind of classy and we still fall down to those Dragon Breaths. Just, uh, I will just remind you that I also had the debuff on my side so there goes that. At this point they will return into the battle with a Hypno which is pretty bad for my Hypno and for my goal but come on Ganeto you got this and if they carry the move Thunder Punch here this thing might be absolutely crazy for me. Anyways it is gonna be just a side shock which means here that we can still pressure for that Icy Wind. I am already sweating this is horrible for Grizz right now we are getting too hot for from that weather at this point but anyways let's return the commentary because we can just finish off here the good draw with that final ice wind let's get that sweet victory trainers and let's move forward into the next one we're having a shadow polytoad up on the lead and we're just gonna keep going here with the pressure from our wing attacks i know that one poison fang might just seal the deal here uh, because we're both shadows but still they switch out to that gerados and to be honest i was not expecting that this is a water version of Gerados. I'm just gonna throw the Shadow Ball then switch out to my Dugong and I know that after that first debuff we can have the upper hand even if they hit us with a Shadow Outrage. So at this point I'm just gonna try and pressure for the potential drill run here but first they have to throw the Weather Ball. It is double resisted so they cannot do enough damage to finish me off and I'm not gonna shield anything at this point. I will keep my two shields for the end game because as it seems this trainer and the Polydot might I just go to town if they have a pretty cool third one. So at this point I'm just gonna take the second move and I will try to commit to the farm down with my Scavalier. At the back there is gonna be a Dragonite unfortunately here but hopefully we have the RLA which can do a lot of damage. Can we reach here to the Poison Fang? No we cannot. A Scavalier for the farm down we cannot do that either and they are gonna farm us down instead. So well played to my opponent and now let's move forward into the next one. We're having a jelly sent up in front and now this shadow ball will just seal the deal. Of course they're gonna respect the potential damage and they're gonna block. You can always bait at this point but if the bait doesn't work perhaps you're gonna be put in a difficult position and that's why I decide to go here for the shadow ball straight. I will just try to catch the second move on my Dugong. Perhaps they want to go for a surf at this point but they end up going for the shadow ball anyways uh, and at this point I'm just gonna keep going with my Dugong here because I know that even if they get to another shadow ball I can survive and still pressure for the finishing blow and my drill run. Instead I get to the, to the last second icy wind as soon as I see that switch out and it is gonna be on their Dugong. This, this means now that whatever they throw we can absolutely manage 
and here comes the resisted icy wind. I know that one drill run will not be enough to finish them off, so I will charge it up up to the excellent and then I will commit to the farm down as soon as they're getting to another move. Just gonna call it, it is gonna be another debuffing move and at this point Golbat can go and farm down some crucial energy as it seems because other, as their third Pokemon they are gonna have a Sun Slash which is pretty scary at this point for my line. Anyways, all I have to do here is to reach to the Shadow Ball, deal massive damage on the Sun Slash and that's why I like my Shadow Golbat a lot because the regular run cannot do so much pressure with the charge attacks. Anyways, got a respected damage here from that Ice Punch and right after, as soon as they get to the Jellies and I have to press the move but for some reason I do not and down I go to that Surf. So this is an underwhelming uh, loss here but well played to my opponent, totally outplayed in there with that switch. Anyways, into the next one now, trying to cut the brine and we can do that successfully on our Dugong. So Toxapex is a very good lead for this team as we have already said on the start of this video and at this point we're just gonna keep going here with our Dugong. Drill run for that weird pseudo charmer and Brioni is just gonna go to town with a disarming voice as it seems. However, they can still uh, survive the first drill run but the second one not so much. So down they go to the drill run. I really want to see what there is at the back and it is gonna be the one and only dance person. The previous cap we had a lot of dance verses. I think that on this cap we're not gonna see that many but still dancers can be a playable Pokemon for sure. So if you have built it up for the previous cap perhaps here you can use it on the remix as well. Here comes the first drill run. I am just gonna take it but the second one has to be respected and I'm just gonna pop out the shield. Expecting the switch at some point here it is on the Toxapex returning into the battle and I have so much energy to spare. So here comes now my first drill run and I think that even though I can block here, I can still charge up to a second drill run before going down and of course those poison jabs are resisted by a lot which just helps us a lot and at this point we're just gonna keep going with the drill run. Now gonna switch out to my goal but keeping that drill run for the end game knowing that I can win the CMP against the dance spurs. Now they can reach the rock slide. This is probably gonna be deadly to us, right? No, we can survive just barely enough to reach to the poison funk with shadow goal but let's get that sweet victory once again trainers into the next one now with a match up on the lead you love to see it pretty good lead for us on the switch we're met up with an even better switch against the steelix and they are not even gonna get to the earthquake which means that they might not run it at all seeing the crunch i might have the best suspicion here uh, because not only they have crunch but also psychic funks and we can play around that for sure resisting by a lot whatever they are gonna throw at this point of course i have to respect the damage now from those debuffs and the psychic funks so here comes now my final move the drill run which they are gonna block perhaps if I didn't block here we could farm down if I didn't throw the move actually we could farm down but that is a story for another universe I guess at this point back to my multiverse and we're having the Perseker at the back normally this is pretty bad because they resist my moves by a lot other than Shadow Ball but since shields are down we can easily go in now with our Golbat and start going with those Shadow Balls to immediately finish off this Pokemon and do one more to destroy down the Matcham while we have a healthy Dugong at the back looking pretty solid here as we're moving forward into the final one against a Sato Zapdos. This is horrible and this is one of the few incidents that you do not want to throw your Dugong in there as a safe switch. Perhaps going out to the Escavalier might be a better choice overall uh, because Escavalier can still pressure with that amazing counter move that it has. So here comes now the second move. I'm just gonna let it go through because I have a feeling that they cannot reach to another drill pack. And at this point I want to mention that they do not have uh, Thunder Shock. So Charge Beam it is gonna be their first uh, fast attack. So at this point we can easily farm down with Dugong. They have at the back a Floet and I'm trying to catch a Fairy type move but they know better. Gonna get to the Psychic big time damage on my Pokemon and at the back they have the Quillfish. So so the battle is not over yet, we still need to do a lot of heavy work with our Dugong and the final shield while they have a decent amount of energy. Gonna call it here, just gonna be an Aqua Tail and at this point we have to pressure for a potential Icy Wind. Uh, we can debuff this Pokemon which is pretty neat and of course they are gonna bring us to no HP if they get to a Shadow Ball or a Sludge Bomb or whatever they have but instead they throw another Aqua 
drill, they cannot get to another one, we can go with back to back drill runs, but as it seems, they can still survive. This is a race now to the next one, we can win it, they can still survive at the final, Isard will grab the victory for us, pretty close battle against this trainer, and that will wrap things for today's video. Thank you for watching traders and for staying till the end, just be sure to leave a huge like before you go and of course consider subscribing to my channel if you want to see more of my content. With that said, I have two videos for you to check out, so feel free to do so and I will see you all into the next one.